Child labor and trafficking is a major global problem of grave concern to governments. Civil society and the class situation is equally worrying for Ghana. The Ghana Statistical Service Round 6 estimated that 2.7 million children are engaged in child labor. According to the 2020 report on strategy on anti-child labor and trafficking in the fisheries of the Ministry of Fisheries and Aquaculture Development, more than 1.23 million children, representing 14.2% of the children population in Ghana, are in hazardous child labor and trafficking. Over 50,000 of these children are involved in fishing, with tens of thousands trafficked from as early as age four. Child labor and trafficking is a common practice across the country, but as common in coastal communities where poorer household use as coping mechanisms. Fishing communities in the central region are major source communities for trafficked children, especially Tuyeji and other fishing communities along the Volta Lake. There are well-known cases of children being used as cheap labor and traded as commodities for monetary benefit. These children are often trafficked through middlemen from coast to coast to as far as Yeji. They are used as slaves and made to work at night on the sea and on the Volta Lake. These children also miss out on school and their right to live with their families. Yeji is known for its notoriety in child labor and trafficking. It is one of the destinations for trafficked children and child labor in the country. Statistics from the District Department of Social Welfare indicate that 130 children aged between 7 and 17 years were rescued in the area in 2021. According to the head of the Pru East District Department of Social Welfare, Martin Luther Zongori, 90 of them are males and 40 females. He noted that as of June this year, 2022, 47 children have so far been rescued in the same area. Really, um, the issue is uh, an issue that is really pertaining in our district. Uh, actually, my name is Martin Luther Sungoli. I am head of department for Department of Social Welfare and Community Development through East District Assembly, EAG. And when we come to the issue of child trafficking and labor, it is an issue that we can discuss at length in this our district. Because we have statistics showing that yes, almost every year, we are able to rescue not less than a hundred and something, which means that yes, there is much to be done to be able to cater this issue. That is to washing away children, their dignity, and then their future. And together, I think we should be able to, to handle not less than 130 cases. And out of these 130 cases, we had 90 of them being males, and we have 30 of them being females. Mm. 40 of them being female. Considering 2022, the second quarter, from first quarter, second quarter, we have been able to rescue almost 47 um, victims of child labor and trafficking. And out of this number, we are having um, um, 29 being males, and then we had 18 being females. Mm. All these children have been sent to um, shelters, Challenging Heights, and other shelter in the Tamale and then the northern region. And others have all been able to be reintegrated with their family in Vota region and districts within. Yeah, there are two push factors to this issue. There is issue we can talk about as the poverty, just as we mentioned. There are other things too. We have people having a lot of children and they are not able to come take care of them. For that matter, they have to reduce the size of their family by allowing people to come for their kids and then they will be able to earn something out of that. And there are other issues too with um, large family size, as I said earlier on. We also have issues to deal with um, cheap labor. 
which is another two factor here yeah, people want children who they'll be able to manipulate they'll be able to cheat they'll be able to command and they'll be able to do anything they want to do with them and then get the rich revenue and then whatever money they want to realize out of their business they're doing at the expense of the child's development baba amedu is a class three people who has dropped out of school and is working as a loading boy in a pantoon on the Volta Lake. Baba Amadou, class three. The infantry, 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 infantry. It's not school fees in Oh, na Kenya kabe ko school ah, kabe ko school. Na fifteen years I work class three. Na ko school wa in. Na me ko upe, upe, upe. You be put na ba, one one na wa. Ana oni oni ano. Now, about it. Station one. Honestly, you may be honestly, you load that. One will load the car. Now, we are about one hour. Oh, okay. Some residents of Yeji, including Abdel Rashid Abubakar from Makango community, which is beyond the Volta Lake, confirmed the unfortunate practice to us and offered some solution. Uh, the child labor per se in my community, for instance, is very high, if I can say, because when you travel to my end there, that is my country, you see a lot of children, two, three years, four years, five years, on the riverside, uh, carrying pure water, some of them washing cars, washing motorbikes, just to find a living. And sometimes we don't look at that as problem because we tend to blame the parents because they are the masters in the house and everything they say is happens. So if you leave your child to go to the university, to come to the university to get to, to look for money. And the most uh, annoying thing is when the child gets the money, the money is sent to the parent. You see? So in this case what we realize is the parent themselves know of what the children are doing. So what are they doing to control That is not a problem. But uh, you know, we are just a uh, rural area and sometimes when you are trying to advise little children or advise parents on that, they tend to ask you, uh, will, they, will you give their wars money when they don't have money? Will you, will you fund for them? That is where we don't have anything to say. Obu, who name Kwada do? I don't know name Kwada. I want to meet you. Don't want you. If you are Darwasi, I'm not sure. Nipa be me sa. Bakon head. I'm not the machine. No consumer. I'm not bakon head. Kuta tabrono. You know, sir. Bakon su wenima. Oh, you head in two. Head there be an entrance. I'm not moving two. The one name Kwada. I want to meet you. Don't want you. Hmm. We the which say no. One dollar. I'm not moving two. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> For this reason, the sacrifice project being sponsored by the European Union marked the 2022 World Day Against Child Labour at Yeji in the Bono East district of the Bono East region. The sacrifice project is being implemented by Hien Impuano Sewefia and challenging heights. Various awareness creation programs, including radio talk shows, community sensitization, a walk through Principal Street of Yeji with some school peoples and Deba with chiefs, officials, parents, and peoples held to commemorate the day. <laughs> No, 
This year's day was commemorated under the theme Universal Social Protection to End Child Labor. The day is an international occasion to educate the public on issues of concern, mobilize political will and resources to address this menace. The program's officer for Sewefia, Nicholas Smith, noted that the main objective of the sacrifice project is to advocate for the right of children, especially in the fishing communities of Ghana. What the number of children in Ghana that are childless in the fishing sector has risen in the last 10 years. With an estimated 150 million children currently in Japan, 72 million in web classified as adults. Web that is likely to harm their health, safety, or morals, or will even lead to their death. The program's manager for Yen Empuano, Jimaima Eminzan, called on stakeholders in the communities, especially parents, to help build child labor free zones. In the area. The sacrifice project is um, operating in two regions, the central region, um, some communities along the Volta Lake, which um, Yeji, of which Yeji happens to be one. And so um, being a notable place also for child trafficking, um, the sacrifice project has brought the commemoration of this year's World Against Child Labor to Yeji to heighten awareness and create the sensitization for this menace to stop. Uh, this is an effort towards the SDG goal 7.8, which is targeted towards eliminating child labor and trafficking and modern slavery by the year 2025. The program's officer for Challenge and Hide, Stephen Addo, highlighted the seriousness of child labor in the area. He again revealed that Mondays are made on official holidays for school children in Yeji. This day are um, market day, hence children skip school to join their caretakers and masters to work on the Volta Lake and at the main market. I want to use this opportunity to plead with the stakeholders in Yeji, like the police, the Nananom, and then all stakeholders, all people, assembly members, to come together to assist NGOs to fight child labor. Because what you mentioned here, the people target with child labor and child trafficking related issue, which is not a good name. Uh, we can use an example of Topo, where they have declared child labor the free zone in uh, Topo in the uh, Bando district. So we are also agree with Nananum to come together so that we can have a committee that will be focusing on child labor, child trafficking related activities on the lake. That will help us to fight the, 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 the situation on the, 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 the situation on the lake. This is what I'm pleading the Nananum and then the stakeholders to come together so that we all fight it. Another issue that I've also observed working on the lake is that it's like Mondays, Tuesdays are virtually holidays for the, the children. And I will use this opportunity to also appeal to the district educational director to look at it again because the islands most of the children attend school on the islands and then Monday Tuesdays is like the market day for Yeji so teachers also want to come to the market to buy things and send it back they come on Sundays but they don't they don't have any means of returning back to the to the, the various communities before Monday so they have to wait till Tuesday that they will return back to the various community this means that the children may not go to school Monday and Tuesday and it's an opportunity for the uh, masters or the, the parents to use them on the lake. When you meet them, this is exactly what they are going to tell you. This situation, the Deputy District Director of Education in Charge of Supervision, Nakoja Banabas Atta, confirmed. According to him, efforts made to reverse the trend have always proven difficult since such children needed to work for their masters and take care of themselves. What they said is true. 
um, sun, that is uh, Mondays and Tuesdays are days that uh, I think uh, are market days for Egypt. And um, the students or the learners, the majority of them come from the overbank along the lake. And in fact, it will interest you to know that whenever these children are coming, some of the parents will only give some food stuff and tea, tea and tea for these children to bring and start school. You will see a student, you ask the student, what are you feeding on? The child will say nothing. So at the end of the day, market days, the children take the opportunity to go to the market to find something small for themselves for the feeding for the week. The proof is DCE, the district director of employment and labor department. The police and chiefs were all not happy about the development. They pledged their resolve to help deal with the issue of child labor and trafficking. Usually when there are about to activities involved, they need to the gaps into any form of panoramic. 2025, near except, by then we need to check out the gaps. The world is left with three years to achieve the goal of elimination of all forms of child labor by 2025 and eight years towards the goal of elimination of forced labor by 2030 as enshrined in the Sustainable Development Goals, target number 8.7. Although some successes have been chalked in the fight against the canker, by all stakeholders, much effort are still required to achieve these goals.